personally run a team to beat Florida State? That yeah. feeling. I mean, it's definitely a, a good feeling. It's, it's a big win for us. Um, Florida State's owned us in the past couple years. They beat the crap out of us. Um, but it's finally, it's good to get in the back. But at the end of the day, it's just just another win in W column. Um, we're going to celebrate it tonight uh, and enjoy this win for the rest of this weekend. We're going to come back Monday and get ready for Syracuse. How about your big play to get the strip uh, on, at that moment in the game and get that turnover? Um, I mean, we just I just saw all night he was holding that ball loose. Um, and I was coming from behind, and I just – Play. They kept doing that hurry up, the toss play, that fastball stuff. Um, and I just saw a hole and just shot it. Um, I should have wrapped him up, but got a good look on him. After the way the game started, was it satisfying that you guys made the two big plays at the end that solidified the win? Yeah, because just the first first quarter, we were giving up just stupid plays. We were like, when we were doing our assignment, they couldn't do anything on us. Um, we just kept making mental errors, um, not fitting right gaps. Um, so we. Once again, the offense and the special teams had to bail us out a little bit. Um, but it's, it definitely was a good feeling to just kind of solidify that win on our side of the ball um, and just make up for those costly mistakes in the first half of the game. When y'all came off the field after the long touchdown run on the second play, what did y'all say to each other on the sideline? Um, just encouraging each other. We knew if we were doing our assignment, they couldn't do anything else. We were just one, one of the guys just went fitting fit in the right gap um, and it busted open. Um, well, that's just one thing about our defense. We're very mature. Um, and a lot of people don't think we were a good, better a bunch. Um, and we were just picking everybody up. One guy made a mistake. We were going to pick him up and make the next play. Um, so we're just going on the sideline, encouraging each other. Um, just getting ready for the next series. This win's not a little bit different than some of the others. You're playing it as the number one team in the country. That, don't, that doesn't happen very often. And then you're on the ropes, and you come back, and you you win a game that gets you an Atlantic Division title. This one's a little different. Um, I mean, the ranking for us, we, we didn't, like, prepare or do anything different just because we were number one. We've done everything we've done throughout the season to get us where we're at. Um, of course, Florida State's a big win. Uh, and a little better, a little tastes a little better than the rest of them just because they've owned us the past couple of years. Um, so it felt a little better. Um, if you think about it, at the end of the day, it's just going to win. Um, at the end of the day, Monday, we're going to get ready for Syracuse. So it's a very short-lived um, but this one definitely tastes a little better. Everybody says you guys are the best team because you can win on offense and you can win on defense. Tonight, you guys were able to do it on both. When you yes, sir. Um, and it's, this is what it is. We had a, we're a we a pretty even bunch. Um, if one side of the ball is lacking, the other's going to pick us up. Um, that's what Coach Swain said. We're a triple braided cord. Um, and if one of those, one of the Braids is not in there, the others will pick us up. So that's what, that's what just proves what they're saying. We're, just, we're a deep team, um, we're consistent on offense, defense, and special teams. And that's what's got us to this number one ranking. I think BJ recovered that fumble that you stripped. Um, how good does it feel for y'all to combine for that big turnover? I mean, it's, just, it's, huge. it's a good feeling. I mean, just because 